When Abmita was assigned to his role in this mission, he was excited. It was a chance to prove himself and his strategy. Perhaps, despite his failings, he would get to work on bigger and more complex missions. But now, well, things aren't exactly going his way. Guns are drawn and the shouting has started, but Louis has some news that will shut the lot of them up. Welcome to Team B, a war robot story. Episode 4, What's in the Box? Louie, what the hell are you doing? Get out of the way! <clears throat> huh? What is it? <clears throat> hmm. Oh, shit. What? There are reports out about us. Like us, us, or... Well, that's an awful photo. The photo's not the problem. Look at the header. We robbed Icarus Technologies. I mean, we tried to. Uh, according to the article, we managed to escape with some undisclosed weapons technology. Uh... Ash? Okay, so part of the reason I took so long is that I was lugging that crate around with me. Seriously? You didn't think to, you know, tell us? Instead of talking about red listing? Well, everything had gone to hell. I was acting under the assumption that one of us was a traitor. Although now I'm pretty sure it's that droid. I was only working with the information I'd been given. The plan would have been different had I known we were breaking into a secret Icarus base. I would have employed an entirely different team for a start. And then maybe gone for an air assault. Me to that's not helping at all. So where is this piece of super technology now? I'm hiding it. It's behind your robot, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it's behind my robot. So, we actually completed the mission? I mean, our names and faces are out there, and we're definitely not out of hot water with Icarus, but I guess it gives our employer a reason to rescue us. So, why did you hide it? Planning to give us all the bullet in the back of the head treatment and then take the full reward for yourself? Jesus, you guys are so hung up on the whole hitman thing. I'm here on a non-lethal basis, okay? Sometimes I do non-lethal jobs. And did you even read your contract? We're not on proportional rates. I don't get to keep your money if you die. It just costs the boss less. After everything went south, I thought I'd keep it hidden as an insurance policy. So you trust us now? Not entirely. But there's also obviously something else going on. And if it turns out we've stolen a super weapon, I want to be the one to hold it. I should also remind you at this point that your contract does stipulate that you would leave the crate unopened. Yeah, except that that was when we were raiding some tiny lab. I'm not interested in some piece of farm tech, but this is Icarus Technologies. Our names and our faces are everywhere, and I want to know what's worth that much. Where are you going? I'm going to open the crate. I'm, I'm coming with you. Oh, I think we're all coming with you. It's only down there with the bots. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I can trust you that far right now. So, uh, where is it? It's behind my bot, like I said. That's a bigger crate than I was expecting. That's why it took me so long to get here. I was lugging this thing around with me. I still have to advise you not to open the crate. I would advise you to stay quiet. You got us into this mess. I didn't intend to- Quiet! Louis, do you always carry a crowbar with you on missions? Haven't you ever gotten stuck in your cockpit? Fair enough. Thanks. Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Louis was, um, suggesting that maybe you try opening it with your robot instead? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. What was, uh, funny about it? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, just the way he said it. <laughs> oh. Well, that's... definitely not a super weapon. What is it? Uh, it looks like an MRI machine. I'm pretty sure it's... yeah, 
That's definitely an MRI machine. I mean, it is a top of the range MRI machine. Uh, I've used the model below this in the lab before, for augmentations. So it's definitely not a super weapon? No. It's not like hiding a super weapon inside? Even if we broke it apart? Maybe there's something stored inside. Oh, I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, well, now it's a really broken MRI machine. I had to try something. Did ya? I was sure that would work. So I'm guessing this isn't, uh, something important? I'm not a scientist, but I'd say an MRI machine isn't worth hiring a team of mercs for. Well, before you laid into it with your oversized can opener, it had a market value of about 450 AU. Now I'd say you could maybe strip it for about 30 AU worth of parts. I don't want to interrupt you, but by my estimation... It's a real the... shame. It was a really nice model. I don't even think we can salvage the shim coils. Oh, Matt. Ash? I don't really care about lab equipment, kid. Okay, so want... did we definitely get the right crate? Yeah, I checked have... the barcode. Are you sure it didn't just Ash. get switched out during battle or something? <laughs> I know. <sighs> Jesus! Uh, uh, what? I've calculated an alternative. My current estimation is that the other two hostiles were not perhaps Icarus Technologies guards. Which means what? Oh, shit. What? Shit. What? We're the B-team. What does that mean? Don't you get it? They, they just... We were a distraction. They sent us in to steal a generic piece of lab equipment so they could get into the other side of the facility and steal... Whatever it is that got stolen. Hmm. Oh, shit. With their new knowledge at the forefront of their minds and debris from the MRI machine on their clothes, our team are stuck trying to find a way out. But is there anything waiting for them? Find out more next week on Team B. Team B is based on the War Robots game universe. Play now at wr.app slash story. You heard Kristen DiMercurio as Linda, Brandon G. Green as Louie, Nathan Blades as Arnav, Felix Trench as Apmita, and Graham Roat as Ash. You also heard the voice of Christopher Byron as narrator. Caroline Minx was the sign language consultant. The series was written, recorded, and directed by Beth Crane and Headley Knights of Battlebird Productions. Sound design was by Ilya Viktorov, produced by Pixonic. 